How I Become Homeless Part 3. Tony Asterisk, 57, from Somerset. I was not working and taking heroin day in, day out. I made a mistake when I was younger and got caught smoking dope. I ended up having to do a short prison sentence. After that I decided to leave my hometown of Derby. I ended up living in a London Fields tower block with a friend. I moved in with him but we fell out after a while and I couldn't find anywhere else to go. I started squatting and traveling. When I was in London I started taking drugs. That stopped me sorting myself out and finding a place. It wasn't a nice time and there were not many jobs around. I ended up being homeless on the streets on and off. I would sleep rough for a few weeks or a month. I served a few spells in prison but I would usually end up on the streets again as when I got out I had nowhere to live. In the mid-1990s, I went into rehab and did okay for about 4 or 5 years. The recovery lasted until my son died, that sent me over the edge. After that I was not working and taking heroin day in, day out. It took me 7 years to get back on track. After another rehab stay I finally got it right and became involved with a local homelessness charity, first as a volunteer, and now as a full-time support worker. Homeless people are just people. I will never promise a client anything because when I was homeless, some agency said they would do X, Y or Z for me and then they'd come back with a valid reason why they couldn't. That was tough. My boss thinks I tend to be not too soft but maybe too understanding. It's true that I empathize with the people I work with and see things more from their perspective.